Hi, my name is Santos. This is my first project on Power Electronics. This time I built MPPT solar charge controller using Atmega 328 microcontroller and IR2104 MOSFET driver to charge 12 volt 150 amp power battery from 300 watt 21 volt POC panel. Let me explain the different components that I have used. This connector here is for 12 volt power supply and this one is for load connection. This one for battery. and this one for panel connection. The inductor has 347 micro Henry inductance as per my inductance meter that I have built last time. The input and output capacitor has capacitance of 2000 microfarad. LM7805 has 5 volt power supply and Hall effect sensor as current sensor. The total 4 numbers of IRF3205 MOSFET has high frequency switches and fan for cooling. Besides LCD, I've used three LED to indicate solar panel, battery full and charging status. After housing the hardware in the commercial SMPS box, it will look like this. These are the terminal connectors for panel, battery and load connection. In my last experiment, the LCD was showing random characters after a few cycles of operation. This was because of electromagnetic interference from inductor switching at high frequency of 32 kHz. So I've used ferrite core in the LCD cable and also in the 12 volt input power supply for this control circuit. These are the three LED for panel on, battery full and charging status. Here is the switch to turn on the MPPT controller. Let me turn on the power supply. As soon as I turn on the power supply, first it will check battery voltage to decide how many batteries are connected and what the voltage level of the system is. After that, it will check whether it is ok to turn on the load or not depending on the voltage level of batteries. Followed by testing our panel to check whether it can charge batteries or not. Finally, it will decide what should be the duty cycle for current situation so that the MPPT can be achieved quickly and easily. This is done with the assumption that most of the MPPT occurs at 80% of the panel open circuit voltage. With one second delay, it will check panel voltage and panel output current to determine panel output power. If previous power was greater than the current power, it will decrease the duty cycle, whereas if previous power was less than the current power, it will increase the duty cycle. The MPPT point is that point where there is no change in the previous power and current power output from the panel. The basic algorithm available in the internet is shown here. But after testing this algorithm, I found that it is not going to work in the practical situation because solar voltage is always changing and there are various factors which determine the MPPT position of the panel. This algorithm will oscillate between previous panel voltage and current panel voltage and it will never reach the MPPT point. So I think it is better to remove the voltage condition and change duty cycle based on the power output from the solar panel. I want to show the operation of buck converter. This right clamp meter is showing battery charging current and the left clamp meter is showing output current from solar panel. As you can see in buck converter, battery charging current is always greater than the panel output current. The difference in the voltage between panel and the battery will be converted into extra current. Next time, I will upgrade the controller hardware to take input from 42V VOC panel and charge 12V battery. I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching.